EIGRP, or Enhanced Interior Gateway Routing Protocol, is one of Cisco's proprietary routing protocols. It is an advanced distance vector routing protocol. It is optimized to minimize both the routing instability occurred after a topology change as well as use the bandwidth and processing power of the router. Can be assigned with or without the subnet mask. Requires that not only do all routers operate within the same autonomous system or AS number, but they are assigned the same way, either with or without the subnet mask. If you assign the router with a different autonomous system number, it will not form an adjacency with any other routers in that same autonomous system. If you have one router assigned with the subnet mask and another without, they will not form an adjacency. We will cover both ways to assign EIGRP. For this video, we will be using EIGRP with the autonomous system number of 50. First, we will cover assigning ERGRP without sending the subnet mask. So we go to our PC, click in the window, desktop, terminal, OK. Config T. Now we say router EIGRP autonomous system number of 50. Where OSPF's process ID was only of local significance to the router, this autonomous system number is system wide. It's, it, it is specific. All routers have to operate within the same autonomous system number or they will not exchange routing information. So we put in our networks. And all we have to do is put in the network statement. We do not have to put in any subnet information. So here we will go back, change that to 10.10.0. Change this to a dot eight. Enter. Now EIGRP will automatically summarize this down to the 148.10.0.0 network and the 148.20.0.0 network. Well, we do not want it to automatically summarize that it has the whole network. We type in no auto dash summary. We turn off automatic summarization. Control Z. Give it a show run. And here are our network statements. It still shows a 148.20.0.0 and 148.10.0.0, but we've typed in the no automatic summarization so it knows it does not have the whole network. Close this one down. We come over to the other PC, go into this router, terminal, global configuration mode, router. EIGRP 50, the autonomous system number, network 148.10.10.16, another one for the dot .24, our other local LAN, and then we put in our backbone. And right here, automatically, it came up with a dual because it uses a diffusing unit algorithm. Uh, has a status 5, which we know that status 5 indicates a good status, number change. IP EIGRP 50. It has the neighboring address. It learned about it from our serial 001 port, but it learned about the IP address 148.20.20.1. It's up new adjacency. But we're still going to type in no auto summary. and it changed the status a little bit. Just because it said no auto summary means you don't have it all. So we do copy run start. Let's go do show IP route. And notice that here we learned about the 10.0 network, the 10.8 network via a D, which up here D says EIGRP. Let's go back and look at the other one here and do a show IP route there as well. And here we learned about the 16 and the 24 network. Now we will demonstrate configuring EIGRP with the subnet mask. So we click on our PC, terminal prompt, OK, config T, 
router EIGRP50 network 148.10.10.0 with the subnet mask of 255.255.255.248 not like that got a little keyboard happy go again with the dot eight network so those are our two lanes and then our backbone Didn't like that. Discontiguous mask. Oh, I, I typed the wrong uh, subnet mask in there. I got a little fat finger down the keyboard. See, it tells you about it right there. Okay, so now we go no auto dash summary. Now we're going to do a show run. And down here, if you notice, we have our EIGRP50 and our three network statements. Thank you.